Okay, what we're gonna be discussing today is the switch plug combo and how to hook one up. So we wanna add a, a light in our circuit somewhere. We put in one of these babies because we don't wanna eliminate the plug itself. So that's usually when you put one of these in. So I'll explain how to hook that up and uh, make it work. And for all the people who don't know, no, I'm not Bradley Cooper. This is just man candy. So just so you know. Okay, here we go. First step, turn off the power and uh, let's take the plug out. Okay, we've got the plug out. Easy enough, right? But we do have four wires in here. Two sets of blacks, two sets of the whites, the hots and the neutrals. So what I do is um, shut the power off and then we're gonna cut this, cut these wires out of this plug and they're gonna test to see which one is power coming in, which one's going out. The power coming in is gonna be our line. That's what we're gonna use to power up the switch, the plug, and to send power up to our light box, okay? So first, uh, let's cut that down and check for power on each one of the wires so we know what we're working with. Okay, now the power's back on because I took out the plug, separating each one of the Romexes. There's one coming in, one going out. We don't know which one's which. We just wanna know which one's hot. You could use a multimeter, go across your hot and your neutral, see if you get voltage, both sides. Sometimes this works better, or not better, quicker. Let's see. That could be reading from the other wire, from the other wires because there's two sets of, there's hot wires inside the box. Sometimes it gives you a false reading. Now that much, that's a much faster pulse. That tells us that this set is the hot set. Now we know what to work with. We have our starting point. Okay, now we've got our wire installed. It's in the switch box, or it's in the light box, and in your new switch box. So then we strip it out, right? Usually you cut on the top and the bottom, right above each other, and it splits, you can pull it off real easy. I don't know where this Romex came from, uh, but it's not that easy with this. It's an off-market brand, but unfortunately with this Romex, you've got to take the razor knife straight down the center of this. Careful not to cut yourself. You always cut away from yourself. It's called, cut. you cut your buddy, not yourself. Keep your buddy. I'm going to stay a friend after cutting him. I had a buddy once on a job site. I went to put, cut wire. And he had his thumb on that wire. The big wire and I almost cut his thumb off. He was mad. I couldn't stop laughing. So that's what I was going to cut your buddy. Okay, so first thing we do is uh, we're going to tie the grounds together because that's all. That's commonplace. These grounds were already twisted together, so easy enough. Take the side cuts. They're already twisted. See it? Just twist along with them fall right in a place. Just like when you tell your wife, go get me a beer. They fall right in a place, don't they? <laughs> All right, so there's our ground. Good. We're set right there. So next we're going to do, we know that we need a neutral for a plug and we need a neutral for a light. So what the switch plug has is, of course, a place for a neutral. That's that silver terminal. That's a neutral for uh, your plug. So we're gonna pigtail it down for the neutral in here. And when we pig, pigtail it down, so we can have a neutral on this plug, we're also tying together the neutral that's in here. So the neutral is a constant throughout. So we just wanna pigtail it down in here so we have one for this, and we're gonna tie all the neutrals together and uh, in parallel, so it will, we'll have the neutral up here in the light box so we don't have to worry about it. Okay, let's try that. See, now we're stripping them out. You don't have to be real precise, about an inch, because we can always trim it off. When we're twisting together, I'd rather have them make sure that they're all twisted together um, rather than have to be real precise with how much that I strip off. About an inch. So uh, we've got all these together. Try to even them all up just to make them easier to uh, twist together. You try, you know, so. And I got them there different lengths, doesn't matter. So I twist with my uh, fussy side cuts, linemans, whatever you want to call them. And I lightly twist over them so I can get them all to twist really nice. Kind of pull it towards me. And then I'm also twisting back here. See how those are twisted? There's nothing gonna come out of that splice. And I trim it up a little bit. So none of the conductor is hanging out uh, of the neutral. Wire nut on, 
That's what I mean by, by pigtailing down. Stick that in the box, fold it up nice, push it back as far as you can. We're ready to put it on the switch plug combo. Okay, next thing we have is the hot wires. Let's see what the hot wires have in common here. This little bond in between them. You could separate the hots here if you wanted to and put one on each side, but why? So you can pigtail down your hots and put them on one side. Okay, that's the switch side. Doesn't matter because it's gonna tie through and that's your hot side. So opposite side of the silver, so that's the goal. So we're gonna pigtail down our hots and the one that we put in is now our switch leg. That's that wire that we put in and that we stripped out. Now we're gonna pigtail these down, just like we did the neutral, to one hot. By pigtailing down the hot, we're doing the same things we're doing with the neutral. Power's coming in, feeding this, and feeding that. Feeding whatever it is downhill, what have you. So now we know that we have the power, um, refeeding everything that it was before, so nothing's changed. The only thing is that we just pigtailed it down. Same things we did with the neutral, pigtailed it down. So now what do we have for this uh, switch plug combo? We have a hot, we have a neutral, and now we have the switch leg. Neutral's already up there, so now we have the switch leg. So now, let's hook up the switch plug combo. First things first, we trim all of our wires. Take it back about an inch. Little holes in your strippers there. See them? Put about halfway down. Twist, put a nice curl in my wire, if you can see that. Okay. Same thing with the neutral. We're doing this because these don't have stabs in the back. Eh, some people don't trust the stabs in the back. It's up to you. But uh, yeah, we twist, we, I have this off the side. I already know that this is my switch leg going up. So we twist them all, do all of them, get them all twisted. So then we can start hooking up the switch plug combo. Uh, for all intents and purposes, of course you use a screwdriver because you can get better torque on that, you know? But for this video, I'm gonna use my screw gun. I don't care what you say. You get bashed on uh, social media, what have you. But anyways, uh, and then because I got bashed before, uh, the way that you turn your wire is the same way that you're going to be tightening. Otherwise you're pushing the wire out of the terminal. So my wire is going around it, it's going clockwise, and that's which way we're gonna tighten it. Boom, there's your ground, okay? Our hot wire, I already know which one that is. Put it around that terminal. Now that's hot. Come around this side. We know that our neutral is that silver wire on the other side, the opposite side of the hot. Boom, we're in. On the switch, we know that the switch and the plug side are both hot. So we go to the switch side, because these, these are separate from one another. You tie these together, you'll have an instantaneous trip. So here's our switch leg, which is going up now. Stick that underneath the terminal, clockwise, like before. Boom, we're good. Take all of our wires, push them back, you fold them, like, you know, up and down so they don't come against the terminals. Push that in there. Boom, that's it. Okay. Next thing is to put a light in and test it. With this light, we're going to put in a keyless fixture. Um, so we have the same thing, silver and the gold. Silver is always neutral, gold's always hot. All right, we got it all hooked up. Now let's see if it works. Ah, oh, hey, there you go. The other thing, we, uh, the other thing that we have to find out is, did we hook up our power correctly? We get our tester here. These two go on. It means it's wired correctly. And hard to see. Maybe you can see that. So that's wired correctly, and that's wired correctly. So we have our power going in and out, it bypassed it, we still have a plug, we have a switch on it, so now we have a switch plug and we have a light and we're happy campers, all right? So that's about it for hooking up a switch plug combo. Thank you everybody for watching and uh, continue to like and share. I really appreciate all the love you guys have been giving me. Feels like a nice little uh, community where I can help best I can for uh, anybody who has any, any questions, you know? So very few haters out there, very many lovers. All right, you guys, I'm going to go get tacos and beer, and uh, it's hot as hell, 101 degrees in Vegas, and I'm going to go lounge in the pool. What else is there to do? 
Have a good one.